Good day. I'm Father James McCurry. I'm the Minister Provincial of the Franciscan Friars Conventual, uh, and my province uh, has responsibility for overseeing the custody of Blessed Agnellas of Pisa in Great Britain and Ireland. Uh, the uh, Franciscan Friars have several different branches uh, and regions uh, and one of the um, branches of the Franciscans are the conventual. And the Friars Minor Conventual actually date back to the very origins of the Franciscan order in the 13th century. There were various trends uh, after the time of St. Francis, who died in the year 1226. And of the trends within the Franciscan movement, the conventual trend was uh, an emphasis on community life. So Francis of Assisi uh, put a huge emphasis on building a fraternity, a community of brothers. And during his lifetime and in the years after his death, these brothers uh, gathered in convents, that's where the name conventual derives. They lived in convents with a roof over their head. There was another tendency to become itinerant preachers, missionaries, and those friars were regarded as being more observant of a pristine asceticism and poverty. And so they came to have the term uh, observant or spiritual attached to themselves. The conventuals were the ones who lived uh, in larger homes, larger convents, uh, with more of an emphasis on the uh, life of prayer in common, life of apostolate in common, life of um, community that required a study and um, cultivation of culture. So the Friars Minor Conventual have first and foremost an emphasis on community life. Secondly, on liturgical life. They pray the divine office in common and uh, celebrate the conventual mass, uh, the concelebrated liturgy of the Holy Eucharist in common with song and prayer and chant. Um, we're not monks, so we're not monastic. We're friars, we're itinerant, we're mendicant, but we are itinerants who live together in community. Um, because of the emphasis on community life, um, we were able to give witness to the early Franciscan ethos of brothers united with a common mother, uh, Mary the Immaculate. And so uh, in the conventual trend within the Franciscan movement, there was always a huge emphasis on Marian piety, Marian devotion, the understanding that uh, Jesus had asked his mother Mary to be the mother of his band of brothers, the apostles. And so the early band of Franciscan brothers found a common brotherhood under the motherhood of Mary. And so there continues to this very day within the conventual uh, Franciscan movement an emphasis on Our Lady as the mother of the community. And so the uh, Friars Minor Conventual are uh, very uh, humbled uh, to have a Marian piety that we've lived for 800 years. The uh, liturgical uh, aspect of our community life uh, then has also given us a Eucharistic piety. So you will find in conventual Franciscanism an emphasis on adoration of Jesus in the Eucharist uh, and celebration of Jesus in the Eucharist. The uh, other aspect of our conventual tradition is because we lived in the larger houses, that's where we could do spiritual formation, sanctification of the intellect. And so in the 800-year Franciscan tradition, the conventuals uh, became very well known for uh, scholarship, 
for study, not for its own sake, but for the sake of evangelization. But you can't evangelize if you don't know what you're talking about. And so the convention has always put a big emphasis on uh, study for the sake of spreading the gospel. Um, and this involved the notion of baptizing culture, that uh, the gospel was meant to infiltrate every aspect of the life of society. And, um, and so the conventuals became um, uh, in, in very involved in the sanctification of culture. And so art, music, uh, and uh, uh, culture then became associated with the Franciscans, again with the conventual branch of the Franciscans, not for the sake of uh, uh, a dilettantism, but for the sake of the gospel, that Jesus Christ became uh, incarnate on this earth so that he could uh, bring the truth and the beauty of uh, heaven into the culture and society of earth. And so the presence of uh, Franciscans as conventuals uh, in society is to bring uh, the sanctifying power of Jesus Christ into culture. And so you'll find in conventual Franciscanism a whole history of friars engaged in art, in music, in letters, in literature, uh, and in using all of these aspects of society and culture uh, for the spreading of the gospel. Nowadays, Franciscan friars conventuals living in community with their emphasis on the Eucharist, with their love for Mary, uh, with the example of great saints like Saint Anthony, Saint Bonaventure, uh, Blessed John Dun Scotus, all the way up through modern Saint Maximilian Kolbe, a conventual Franciscan. And with the mystical uh, example of the great conventual Franciscan Joseph Cupertino, even today in the 21st century, Friars Minor Conventual uh, try to uh, blend in their community life, in their liturgical life, in their Marian piety, in their Eucharistic piety, a great emphasis on the evangelization of culture and the new evangelization that reaches out to the emergent generation of modern times and shows them that it is possible to take the simple message of Jesus Christ humbly incarnate in our world as the transforming message for modern times to embrace.